Hello, lovely cherubim. How are you doing? Welcome into my loot lounge. I've just been meditating on your energy and I keep hearing the song Brandy sitting on top of the world. So it just keeps repeating. Um, I can hear her in my mind's eye right now. Speaking about the people who knew her back then. This, you know, talking about her dreams and all that. So put that song on if you haven't listened to it for a while. And it's a song that you know. We've got the Six of Wands. This is what I'm saying. Sitting on top of the world, Cherubim, okay? One of you, Cherubim, is in for a huge, huge victory with the Six of Wands. All right? It's, it's literally like... I kept seeing the Two of Cups, Six of Cups as well. So there could be some really beautiful connections coming in for somebody. That was on the pre-shuffle. We've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune coming out. We've got the Sun. There we go. This is you sitting on top of the world. Wow. We've got the Hierophant coming out here. The Nine of Wands. I'm hearing that your wealth is protected. Your loot is protected. Your bounty is protected. And we've got a Five of Wands here. So I don't know what's going on, Cherubim Pie, but this is your higher self sending a lot of a lot of armory to you. I don't think I, I don't feel like this is anything to worry about, okay? Six of Wands. But they're just letting you know that there's extra backup if you need it. Okay, so I don't know if someone's been peeking into your life, trying to like cause something, trying to kind of like, you know, pull you back into your old ways, something like that, because I'm getting a weak energy. When it comes to someone that's maybe thinking about you, thinking of trying their old tactics, they're weakened, all right? They're completely weakened. That's that's what I'm feeling here. So your team, your soul group is literally sending uh, the, a huge amount of support. You see how there are all these ones sat here and this one here is dancing. This is like your soul group watching you succeed, watching you achieve everything, okay? This is psychically if you haven't met any of your real spiritual soul group. But they're really there for you, like they're, they're really there for you in a hard and heavy way here. Especially with the Nine of Wands coming out as well. I feel like you've been making all the sensible decisions for so long, Cherubim, okay? And they want you to know that all these sensible, you know, decisions you've been making, whether it's how you eat, making sure you look good when you go out, because, you know, it's alchemy, yeah? Even when we do our hair and makeup, all of this stuff is alchemy. And humans can't help but treat other humans differently based on the energy they present to them, okay? There's something about that coming up here for somebody. But all the work you've put in with this Knight of Pentacles, it's about to turn the wheel in a big way, okay? This is like Wheel of Fortune when someone really, you know, they put a lot of arm power into that, okay? Because you're landing straight in the sunshine. For whoever this is for, you've got the stars on the table too, and the harmony card which is strength justice kind of energy in this deck they kind of move them around but this is like your justice this is your karma but they're also telling me strength as well like you've been really really strong with something here and i'm getting that you've resisted a lot of temptation and you've really put the effort into being who you were always supposed to be your soul group are watching you they're sending in super super power however this resonates for you this could be you feeling like you've got a lot of solidity in yourself okay because we've got the eight of swords here and i feel like you know anytime you're feeling anxious anytime they're telling me feeling rushed like anytime you're feeling rushed so cherubim don't let them rush you okay you are the alchemist of your own reality and you know there's something here about don't let people rush you anytime anything stressful for you you're getting an extra dose of soul group power so you can put that in the comments I have soul group power. My soul group love me and they're watching me psychically all the time. These are the higher selves of all the other beings you've incarnated with over and over again, okay? So they're sending you in super energy to make sure, they're saying to make sure you don't get lost, but that's just a, a real quick flippant message um, because they trust you, okay? They trust you to do the sensible things with the Knight of Pentacles and to keep zoning back in with your higher self, which is going to take you closer and closer towards your true soul group. Definite sudden victory for someone here. That's what I feel like. Queen of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles. So your energy is moving out of a phase where you've had to do some practical stuff. Maybe you had to revamp your routine. Maybe you had to pull yourself out of situations and do that sensible stuff, you know, meditate, exercising, healthy eating, getting that good sleep, 
looking after number one and it's coming to fruition here with the queen of cups okay where well, you're going to feel it in your heart this is the satisfaction of the heart where in the next turn of the wheel you're going to see that all the effort you put in is paying off the number eight could be relevant to you we've got the four of cups with the wheel okay show me one more so all the things you've been rejecting in your life, yeah, we've got the Hierophant again, all the things you've been rejecting in your life, all the toxic things you've been rejecting, you're going to see how much this is going to pay off very soon, okay, because you've turned away from things that were just, you know, going to lead you down crappy pathways, it's enabled the divine to really put a lot of energy into your potion cabinet, you know what I'm saying, so it's going to pay off. I don't know if it's felt a little boring lately or something like that. You know, when we switch up our routine, it can feel like that. But you're definitely on your spiritual path here with the Hierophant card twice. We've got the sun with the hermit. So I'm getting that this summer, it's something's going to burst into life. They're showing me fireworks. They're showing me water. Okay, like the harbour side. You know, when you have boat parties, it's that kind of energy, okay? I'm getting Tokyo energy, I'm getting New York energy, I'm getting LA energy, I'm getting Singapore energy. Woo, Honolulu for somebody. All right, this is the energy you're bringing. And when I was meditating, I could feel the ocean. So I don't know if you're going to be in the ocean or something like that. Now, this is funny. We've got the Seven of Swords with the Hierophant. And I just heard God's plotting. God is plotting to make sure every little nuance that could possibly be in place for you is getting put in place for you, okay? This is making sure every little human being on your pathway treats you respectfully and properly. You see, that's why I'm getting this extra energy, like they're bodyguarding you, like they're chaperoning you. There's energy here that's moving through. See, spiritual energy, it can move through anyone on the planet, all right? So if God needs someone to do something at a certain time for you, it can happen and your soul group are really putting all of their all of their chips in your pile like they're betting on you they support you they trust you and even <clears throat> tickling my throat okay it's a sign for something god is plotting to make sure you get this victory okay and to make sure you're going to be sitting on top of the world okay we've got the knight of wands with the nine of wands so the full card yeah people are being blocked out so that they're not going to bother you on your new pathway with the full okay this is people who've already had their chances or they just know they haven't really got a chance anyway magicians all right these are people who they're always trying to put on an act because they just think that's the way humans have got to do it they think it's normal to do that there's no genuine energy in the people that spirit is blocking out for you and you've got this sitting on top of the world kind of energy with the full card and the victory where this fresh start they really want you to embrace it they really want you to envision it they really want you to understand you've created this beautiful energy in yourself with the queen of cups where because you let your heart move you it's bound to take you where you need to go look at this with the queen of wands on top of the five of wands okay you can you can get you can get tough if you need to okay because with this queen of wands this is your soul group sending you so much firepower that no one will mess with you because even if they're not physically around, they're going to feel this energy in your magnetic field. They're going to feel this in your aura, this fiery divine power with God plotting to make sure you get where you need to be and your soul group all watching you, circling around you. This is sacred, okay? This is sacred energy with your whole soul group cheering for you, sending you energy. This is beautiful. Okay, we've got the Six of Swords with the Justice. That's what I'm saying about that water. You just keep letting yourself be guided in the most beautiful ways. And it's inevitable that you get to this victorious point. They're showing me a nexus point. It's like X marks the spot. There's somewhere that's calling to your soul that you're making your way towards. Okay, this is a journey. Yes, Eight of Swords. We've got the Ace of Wands. So anytime anyone makes you feel trapped or rushed or stressed, there's just too much energy and support of you here for you to burst out of it with the ace of wands and remember that you are independent that you are a creator that you are free that you're a sovereign being okay and that you wear a crown put that in the comments i wear my crown i am free no one gets to pressure you cherubim okay god doesn't pressure you so why should anyone else get you know get the opportunity okay three of swords let's have a look what else two of pentacles 
see, this is coming out on the star card, guys. Some people are going to be so heartbroken. And I don't feel like this is any, you know, it could be enemies for some of you with the, with the Three of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. But I just feel like maybe for some of you or one of you, you're going to be moving away from your town and you're going to, you know, people aren't going to know what to do without you. Or maybe people who didn't seem to care too much about you before, they're going to really notice your absence with this Ace of Pentacles because you're moving into your starhood. You're moving into your sparkly, celebratory, firework party kind of life. And there are going to be people who feel at a loss without you. Like, they're like, where did this cherubim go? You know, sometimes being a cherubim, people don't realize how valuable you are until you move out, okay? And until you're gone, you know? And then they really kind of, they really miss your presence. So I'm getting that there's going to be people or a person who's going to really miss your presence. This could be this Knight of Wands energy, okay? I'm getting young, young rogue kind of energy on this card. Of course, they're going to be drawn to your Queen of Wands ways, but you know, I feel like you've got to you've got to get on with your starhood. Okay, they keep telling me starhood, like you've just got that star power. Yeah, people are going to be seeing you. We've got the camera coming out. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. Not only are your soul group watching you, okay, but a lot of other people are going to be watching you too, Cherubim. All right, because you're taking some sort of positioning where you're going to be seen in your grandeur, seen in your majestic ways. And this is God's plan. This is you lining up with the divine will of God. We've got the lavender heart here. You could be buying yourself like new perfumes or just making sure, you know, everything is something about scent here. Like the smell of things could be like laundry detergent. I don't know what this is, but this is you smelling good, bringing a beautiful energy with you wherever you go, lightening the room up with your energy, right? And just bringing... This could be your actual scent or this could be like people feeling like your magic, okay, when you walk in the room, the button, so you're definitely creating big things here. We've got the zip, okay, so this is like my uh, token for zipping together two timelines, all right, so you're zipping in with your star power timeline. You can type that in the comments, I am zipping up my timelines, I'm moving on to my rainbow road, I am on my golden pathway, I am my higher self and I accept nothing less, what else? The butterfly, so it's about time that you fly free, especially with this full card, this is all about you allowing yourself to transform into your higher self and trusting in the bounty that's waiting for you because I'm still getting that song sitting on top of the world, ooh, what's this one? We've got a V here, <laughs> V, I'm hearing the power of the poem, okay, for somebody, okay, we've got another butterfly, baby, baby, what are you doing with these soft, lustrous wings, okay, this is like cherubim power, this is like butterfly power, you've got two butterflies on the table, two, like what the hell, you can see how many are in here, right, that's crazy, oh, and the black tourmaline, what did I tell you about your, this is heavy, I was just about to say ancestors, not only are your ancestors protecting you, but I've said about the soul group, and I've said about God, you've just got full protection, my love, you've got absolute full protection here, yeah, peace, okay, we've got the peace coming out, and the panda bear, reminding us how cute you are, okay, and there's something about this panda, they're saying to me, you are allowed to change whenever you want, you're allowed to change, you're allowed to transform, we've got number three for the empress, okay, so your garden of Eden, your personal paradise on earth is getting built, okay, and I'm getting tropical paradise, like you are a tropical paradise, or you're going to be going to a tropical paradise, Okay, we've got the locket coming out, okay? So this represents cherished things that you've wanted to manifest. This could be people that you cherish coming back into your life, but it's definitely an energy of being cherished and of cherishing others here, okay? So something you're creating means a whole lot to you. This could be something you've been working on since you were a kid with the panda bear showing up, okay? I'm feeling this really cute energy of you just being a lovely hearted person. And we've got the blessed card, number 22. So it's time, it's time. L little Miss Butterfly or Mr. Butterfly, okay? 
but I'm getting that I'm, there's going to be one person particularly that, that resonates heavily with this, okay? Let me know in the comments if that's you, because if this is you, you've been transforming so well, you've done all the sensible moves here, and now it's time for your change in the wind, okay? And it's time for you to really live your dreams, all right? They're telling me lavender pie, all right? I don't know what that means. It's just like a term of endearment, okay? Because your energy is so good. And one more, we've got you. Okay, so this season, it's all about you, your transformation, letting people see you for who you truly are. You know, letting them see you, being at peace with who you are, being at peace with something that God is bringing you here that's very blessed and you're going to be very happy and satisfied with it, okay? I'm hearing your haters are going to see you, but you're going to be gone. They, they can't keep up with you. So the haters are going to be irrelevant, but yes, they're going to see and they're going to have to cognitively dissonate because their brain can't process your success, okay? So this is big success for somebody. Six of Wands with the blessed card, okay? Claim this. Know that your soul group are with you. Know that you are transforming and they really want me to encourage you to visualize your wings here just like this lovely one on the card visualize those big golden radiant beautiful wings let me know what your wings are like for you like let me know what kind of wings you visualize i'm seeing silky pink wings for somebody so this is beautiful cherubim claim this reading and i'll be back soon Mwah. claim your starhood babes